Crypto Dad's Gas Wars, let's go. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to document live the Crypto Dad's NFT drop. We're gonna see how much the mints are. Since my last video, I've learned a ton. I was totally clueless about the priority fees, the base fees, the max fees. Today we have a little bit more knowledge on it thanks to some uh, YouTubes and Twitters. I'll put the links down below on the guides that I use. Uh, we're gonna pull up Block Native to see what the gas price is. This is gonna spike up a lot, guys. Um, I have up here the Ether scan of the contract, meaning that this is what's going on in terms of the minting contract. And on another web page, I already have the contract pull up contracts. Right contract, we're already connected to my MetaMask. Let's just double check to make sure we got enough ETH in there. We do, no transactions. Are we gonna spend thousands of dollars today? Let's do it. We can mint five, so five times 0 0.07 is 0.35. We're gonna try to get five crypto dads. That way we can get the airdrops for the crypto moms and the crypto tots. So we're about two minutes from the mint, guys. Let's keep you guys posted on how we are doing. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on this page because we're gonna see you know, what transactions are coming through. You can already tell that people are trying to push stuff through. Um, you got two minutes, so that's not, we got what, we're down one minute, guys, one minute. What I've learned from previous, uh, the Cypher drop is that uh, gas spiked up a lot in the first minute, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna take a look at the native. It's probably gonna go up to 300 guay. People are putting in 5,000, even 9,000 guay for the, the sevens drop. So I, do, I did some forensics. Maybe we'll go through that after this video or after the drop to take a look at some failed transactions, transactions that went through and bam, 430 already. That is from the Crypto Dads guys. That is from Crypto Dads. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this so that you guys can see it. We're gonna put half there, half there. A few moments later. It's already 1270. We're not gonna rush into this guys. We're gonna take some time here. And we're gonna take a look at what we wanna do. All right, guys, so let's take a look at how many transactions have gone through already. 69 days, not horrible. Uh, we're gonna wait a little bit to get in on these. So let's refresh the contract for the dads. All right, guys, we could already see in the transaction, pending, 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 lots of pendings. Let's take a look at transactions that actually went through. Uh, let's full size this to see what it is. So 3,000 for gas right now. Uh, let's take a look at what it'll cost for us to mint. Let's take a look at that. We're still going to wait a couple of minutes. Right contract. Let's go to mint. 0.35, 5 mint, right? We are at about max amount here. Add a suggested gas. So if we were to go with this information, which is, so 3,300, that's what it is. Let's see how much the fee would be, 34.20. Max price of 34.20. That means our max price would be $10,600. It won't actually cost us $10,600, it, it might cost us $6,000. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but you know what? For a failed transaction fee, this is gonna cost me 700 bucks for the sake of this video. We're gonna do it anyways, but we're gonna wait for this drop a little bit, maybe like one more minute and then we'll see where it's at. Because right now it's probably really, really high. If it gets sold out, it gets sold out, but I'm not gonna mint it that much. And this is what I learned from a YouTuber on what to do. So it's saying, you know, um, this is the max amount, but that's probably not the max amount. Edit it again, 487, 481. That's not gonna get it through, guys. Right now it's 3752, that's gonna get it through. Um, so that's why a lot of people have failed transactions because they're just gonna have failed transactions because they're gonna prioritize the 387 ones. Let's try to do a 3870. And I've seen like half of this go through. So still 12,000. So if I get five crypto dads for 12,000, it's not gonna cost me 12,000, it cost me like 7,000. Would that be worth it? And the answer is yes, because um, the floor is about 0.6 ETH. That's about three ETH, let's say, right? Three ETH, $9,000. So if I got it for 6,000, 9,000 would still be worth it. But for the sake of, you know, just waiting, let's just wait a little bit more. Am I willing to spend half my bag on crypto dads? The answer is probably not. Um, it's not gonna cost me 3870. Um, we're gonna wait for like another minute. It might be sold out. Let's check it out, let's check it out. Let's see if this thing is sold out. Uh, let's go back to the actual transactions. 151 ETH, divide that by 0 0.7. 151 divided by 
07. So about 2,157 has gone through, um, probably like 1,500 left. Let's see if we should wait some more. Let's take a look at what it is now. Let's take a look, guys. Let's write it again. Save this. Reject it. Reject it. Write it again. Ah, gas has went down substantially. Let's go to the data, not, oh, not data, details. Let's click on advance, edit. Let's do 2,000 and let's do 1,000. Ah, save that. Let's confirm that. I don't mind spending that much. And I think I confirmed it, guys. Let's see if it goes through. Uh, I don't think so. Reverted, so I don't think we got it, guys. It cost me about 11 $139 for that failed transaction. I hope you guys learned a lesson there. I did put the base at $12.49. That didn't work. The priority, I put a lot. That didn't work either. Um, did it really cost me 0.35? I don't think so. My assets are still there. Let's take a look at this on Etherscan. All right, so I'm not sure if this website's wrong or right, but it definitely looks wrong for it to be that high. So let's edit the gas, edit gas. Gas fees dropping, which means that this is probably done, guys. Let's refresh this, 315 ETH. Divide that by 0.7. Yep, it's done, 4,500 minted already. We didn't get one, guys, we tried. So I think what happened was that we tried to do it and then there was no more already finished minting out good learning lessons i didn't lose a thousand dollars i thought i was gonna lose a thousand dollars but i did not so thank god for that lots of failed transactions so what i think happened guys is that bots must have gotten to this and sold it out within the first three minutes maybe like two minutes let's see let's take a look at a successful transaction see people got into orders but it's all failed i guess waiting on this one was not a smart choice. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, we're on page, so 19 pages of failed transactions so far. All right, you know what? Let's just go to the last one and then work that way because that way is probably better. Okay, guys, here's the first one. The first one I got in 1100 Gwei. That's not bad at all. I should have said it at 1100 and would have got in for 2000 p dollars in gas. A lot of people are scared off by gas wars, but really it's not that scary. It's only 2200 bucks in gas. I guess he could have been bumped out but I think if you just fast on a trigger, let's see what it is if you're in the first page. 1400 Gwei, not bad at all. All right, let's see if you could get in. Oh, uh, let's see, everyone here. Okay, so these are the same addresses, right? This, they probably have bots to do this fast. I don't know how they got it. They probably preset their Gwei. I mean, this guy got, I don't know, 30 of them, right? Uh, let's see how much Gwei he put. I mean, even only he's bought 322 Gwei. What the heck is going on here? And he got it two minutes after the start time. So uh, he got it in for a really good price. I don't know how he got it in there. Uh, this address printed a lot as well, minted a lot. Um, he got in for 690 Gwei. So I was like an idiot setting 1500, but I said it, you know, four minutes ago. I mean, four minutes after or six minutes after the launch. We'll, look, we'll take a look back. 370 Gwei, they got in. Man, these people got in a good, 280 Gwei, that's cheap, cheap. Even at 203, people are getting in for 1500 Gwei. So I could have got in for 1500 Gwei if I didn't wait as long as I did. I waited. All right, looks like this was the last one that got in. Bob Axie, you got the last one, one actually. Let's see how much Gwei he put. He put 1600 Gwei and that was a 903. So if I did it at 903, I would have been good. I did it at 206. Uh, so let's go. let's go back and see when I did it at. Okay, so I think my failed transaction cost me $150, I think. I don't even know what my, I should have checked what my Ethereum was before. It was probably that. It took 0.04 for me. Not scary at all, base Gwei. So my, so during the time that I submitted it, uh, Gwei was 783 base. I submitted 1500. I don't even know what it was. I need to look back at this video. A priority fee, 1000. Yeah, I think I said 1000. And I submitted it, 04 estimated gas fee. So I submitted like a minute late, guys, a minute late. If I submitted at 203, because I was waiting for stuff to drop, but when by the time stuff dropped, it was already gone. As you can see there, guys, that after 203, uh, let's take a look at the failed transaction, um, the first one after the last one. Okay, here we go. So this failed transaction happened at, yep, 903.58 UTC. So, yeah, right at the end of um, 903, which is 203 in California time, you missed out. 
the real real cutoff was right here these last I don't know 13 14 these were submitted let's take a look here at the same second <laughs> but you know what happened they probably paid more guay and more priority fee uh, what I don't see here is priority fee I see the gas use um, I don't see the priority fee that might be inputted in the contract somewhere but if it's not here I don't know where the priority fees um, set R because that would be good to know it's good to know how much you set priority fees but great learning lesson guys great learning lesson let's see if we go down to this page um, if someone got in before that yep oh no 90358 as well that block time uh, last one 90351 okay so literally seconds guys you can miss this drop by the seconds this guy's missed this guy minted three for over 2600 good for you congratulations to this person, his GUI was 1500. So I was at the right mark, I was just at the wrong time. All right, going past another page. So if you really wanted to be safe, you did it within the first five minutes, you would've got it, guys. You would've got it. All right, let's go into the heart of it, guys, right at the launch and see what the top GUI was to get uh, the transactions through. So at the top, people are doing 17. This was at, you know, right 48 seconds starting, right? I could have done that, 1400. I saw it go up to, was it 3,000? Let's see if anyone put 3,000 and overpaid. Let's take a look at some of these. Uh, 2,000, that, that's not even that much if you print five. I was prepared to go $8,000, which is um, like 5,000 guay. Like, I mean, you just put it out there, but you're not gonna use it all. Okay, here we go. You can see from the side here, the total amount of guay. So the higher the amount, see he paid 2.3 ETH. That's not even a lot. He's gonna profit from this. Let's take a look here. So he was 3,333 guay. He spent about 7,000, but he got five crypto dads. The floor, if it's one ETH, he profited. I don't know why people are scared of gas wars. It's really not that scary at all. And I just learned about this like two days ago, guys. If I could, of course, after seeing this video, I think a lot of people would not be scared of gas wars and just hop right into it. Um, what I'm afraid to see is bots taking over, which, you know, this is probably a bot right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine transactions all within what? Let's take a look. 948, 948. So he's nine transactions within a second. That's not a human, right? That's definitely, um, he created a bot to go from his Ethereum contract with a set amount of Gwei each. Let's see what he set it at so that we know for next drops. He got what, 45 crypto dads? Um, so he set it at 1500 guay. I don't know what his um, priority fee is, but he only walked away with paying 3000 That's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. That's like 1.2 ETH for five crypto dads. I was prepared to go to one, um, 2.5. I was going to pay 2.5 ETH for five crypto dads. I should have put the trigger. I was waiting because uh, I heard about the sevens and how crazy it was. And even I did forensics on the sevens contract and it wasn't that bad. People were just didn't know how to set their gases correctly. And they just kept on repeating failed transactions. And when you repeat failed transactions, you can lose thousands and thousands of dollars if you just keep on trying and trying, trying, trying. But you're trying basically at the wrong street. Everyone's at the everyone's at the freeway, the, the right path. You're over here on like the side street, right? You know, and just wasting your gas money while they're using the right gas and going and getting to the destination. So really it's just setting the right amount of gas so that you get your transaction verified because if you don't get it verified you just keep on hitting a wall you're spending money you're hitting a wall right you just need to know what that is overall i think the block native is pretty accurate it went up i need to go back and look at the video yeah as you can see here guys it went up to 1400 and that was it 17 2000 was the max i think we saw uh, let's go here yeah really no one really there's only this guy overpaid right here only this guy overpaid and he didn't overpay by that much he, he got it he got a deal See, look, the first 17 seconds, the GUI was 1400, still got through. It's cheap. I don't know what people are tripping about. I guess you don't know what it is. So I, the YouTuber that I follow, he said, set it at 15 and just, you know, go for it immediately. I thought that was high, but he seems to be right. One ETH here, that's cheap. Here we go. Someone spent 2.5. This guy overpaid. Let's see what his GUI amount was. 4,000. So this guy went balls out. 2.5. That was what I was gonna pay, maximum amount. I was gonna pay 2.5, well, including the value of the ETH. So he probably paid a little bit more uh, than I would have, but he maxed out at 4,000. I should have just set it at 15 to 2,000, and that's it, call it a day, and gotten my five and walked away. 
All right, guys, let's check out the Crypto Dads Marketplace to see what the floor is. Bam, the floor dropped. All right, this happened. Happened in Cypher, my last Cypher video. Once they flooded the market with supply, the floor dropped. I don't know. Well, Cypher is supposed to review their stuff, so hopefully after reveal, they will get their floor price up again. Uh, but floor price at 0.3, so let's say we minted five of them, right? At an average of 1,700 GUI, which is what? Very cheap, like $3,000. Let's, let's just go high and say $3,000. $3,000 divided by five, 600 bucks a pop, 600 bucks per crypto data at the floor price. Let's just pretend we're selling it at the floor price, right? So 0.3 times, what's the Ethereum at now? 3,500? 1,050. You still made profit. 1,050 times five, um, and then you do, um, the cost of it, which is minus 3,000. You could have made 2,250 bucks going into the gas wars. It's not even a war. What, what should we call this? The gas line or what's a better word for war? The gas fight? The, ga the gas fist fight? I mean, it's it's not even a fight. It's like, if you know your math, I don't know, I could completely offer. I mean, I got my transaction failed. <laughs> what, what do I know? What do I know? All these bots making offers, all these bots. I guess buy now is not available, guys. All right, I think you guys get the point. After reveal, I hope they do a lot better. Let's take a look at the Cypher OpenSea and see how what they're doing. Well, it looks like Cypher hasn't reviewed yet. I think they're reviewing today. Uh, the floor price, I think it's stabilized. It dropped a little bit, um, but it's back up. And nope, it's still back down. <laughs> Hopefully they go up after review, but still, they're in profit. To be honest, guys, I don't mind buying a crypto dad. Uh, for 0.3 so I can get the crypto mom drop and the crypto tots drop potentially free or discounted beer I'm not even a dad. I'll probably be a dad next year But I, maybe I look I'll wait for the reveal and see what happens because I want a Asian crypto dad because I'm Asian Do I like how they interpreted the crypto dad to have the Asian guy be a little bit slanted eyed? Ah, we'll see they could have made a handsomer one like Samuel Liu from Chang Cheese you know, the ring, I'm gonna go watch that tonight. Hopefully it's good, completely off topic, but you know, it's okay. Hey, if you need an Asian person on your board, right here, right here. Yeah, I think the floor is definitely gonna rise on the review because for true collectors or even true speculators, they wanna get, they, they wanna speculate, but they also wanna get the ones that they like. So this is a gamble. I might get one, I might not get the Asian one. I might get a different one, which is fine. I could flip it, right? But I'd rather get one that I like. If I like it, I wanna keep it for a while. To me, it's more of an investment. Uh, than a flip for me for me if i wanted to get in on a flip i'll go to gas wars and just sell them all out right now cash out two thousand bucks and call it a day with that said i'm gonna try to look for another gas war or a gas fist fight as i call it and go pick off these uh these high mints uh, for these uh higher value projects because i think i get my hand on some stay tuned we'll keep you on track uh, to see if i succeed or i just waste 150 bucks on gas who knows let me know what you think about this project. Should I ape in? Should I not? I think I'm going to wait for the reveal. Let me know your thoughts on future projects coming on board. Which gas wars I should participate in. I would like to hear anything and everything. Comment down below. Subscribe. We want to keep these videos coming for you so that we can all financially retire early. Let's go. Stay healthy. Stay fire. Peace out.